Assalamu alaikum students. I hope students you all are good and safe at your homes. Now let's move to our study. As you know that we have already completed the comic story Gopal and the Hills of Fish. Now let's begin the poem The Shed which is written by Frank Flynn. Do you know students what is a shed? Have you ever seen a shed? Or what's the meaning of shed? So let's discuss first about what's a shed. Shed is a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping tools, vehicles, things, animals, etc. As you can see here, these all are the picture of shade. So, shade is a place basically used to keeping and extra things we can use sometimes as a storehouse also. It's a place where some of the animals live. So, in this poem, the poet basically talks about his old shade in the garden. Before move to poem, we'll see some objectives of the poem. Number one, by this poem, you learn the importance of the shade in these modern days. Number two, you learn many new and different words and their meanings, which you can use in your day-to-day -day speaking or in your conversation. Number three, you know very well that's a rhyming words, right? So you'll identify quickly from the poem them. And number four, here you can see your spooky stories. Spooky stories means ghostly in a way that causes fear and uneasy. Or you can say easily frightened or become quite nervous. So after understanding the poet's thoughts and imagination, you too can write or speak or think your own experience or incident which might happen before with you. So by this poem, your speaking skill, your writing skill or your thinking skill will be developed. So one by one, we learn all the skills. Okay, students. So students will go step by step here. First, I'll do the singing of the poem. Then I give you short summary of the poem. And at last, I give you the explanation of the poem. So first, I start the singing of the poem. Here we have first stanza of the poem. First, I do the singing. Then you have to pause the video. And you have to read it with the proper pronunciation or you have to sing the, this stanza. Same with the second stanza, third stanza and fourth stanza. Means after each stanza, you have to pause the video and sing that stanza. Okay, so ready all of you? Let's start first stanza. That's a shade at the bottom of our garden with a spider's web hanging across the door. The hedges are rusty and creak in the wind. Where I'm in bed, I lie and I listen. I'll open that door one day. Now we'll move to the second stanza. That's a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked bands of glass. I often think that someone's staring at me each time that I pass. I'll peep through that window one day. My brother says that's a ghost in the shade who hides under the rotten floorboards. And if I ever dare to set foot inside, I'll jump out and chop off my head, but I take a peek one day. Now we'll move to fourth stanza, but before you have to pause the video and start singing, okay? Now let's start fourth. 
I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep the shit for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises. And the spider has been gone from his web. Since I don't know when, I'll go into that shit one day soon, but not just yet. Now students, you have to write in the comment box that Ma'am, I have done the reading or singing of the poem. So I can able to know that you all are doing what the teachers are saying to do. So I hope students, you all have completed your reading or singing of the poem, right? Now here we'll see a short summary of the poem. In this poem, the boy describes an old sheet that has not been opened for a long time. The shade in the child's garden has been locked for so long that a spider has built its web across the door. The hinges of the door are rusted. At night, they make a creaking sound scaring the child. He plans to open the door of the shade someday and have a look. The child sees the glass pans of the sheet's window are cracked. When he passes by the sheet, he gets the feeling someone is watching him through the window. He plans to peep through the window someday. The child's brother often tries to scare him by saying that a ghost lives under the floor of the sheet. His brother also warns him that if he enters the sheet, the ghost will chop off his head, but the boy plans to peek inside someday. The child realizes that his brother is lying to him because he wants the sheet for himself. The child realizes that nobody stares at him. It was just his imagination. So, he decides to go into the sheet someday, but not just yet. So students, here we have completed the reading or singing of the poem and a short summary of the poem. I hope students, you understood this summary of the poem. In our next video, we'll see the explanation of each line of the poem. And yes, don't forget to write in comment box. After reading or singing of the poem, write that, yes ma'am, I have done or I have completed reading or singing. And students, try to read or sing with correct pronunciation. Okay students, take care. Have a blessed day.